Welcome back to the Credible Dev YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about autopilot and task sequences and config manager and how you get the hardware hash during a task sequence and upload that to Intune so that way you can onboard your devices. This is a solution where uh, maybe the device currently doesn't have Windows on it, maybe it has Linux on it or some other operating system. So you don't have an easy way to collect the hardware hash and upload that into Intune. And this process that we're going to go over today uh, fits that scenario really well where we will use a task sequence to run against the machine and it will then, during the task sequence, collect that hardware hash, upload it to Intune, and the machine will then have win Windows 10 on it and it will go into the autopilot process after that. So. If you're looking for some help with this this video is definitely for you so let's go ahead and jump into the process so thanks to uh, an experience that I had personally with the company that I work with we really needed this uh, for our situation and after kind of looking into it online we found some videos from the Intune training YouTube channel that went over this process and I'm not sure if they're the actual creators of these PowerShell scripts that we're going to use. They possibly are or somebody that's affiliated with them. But we did make some modifications to these scripts so that they work better for us. And I'll talk about that as we kind of go through the process. So I'm not the creator of these PowerShell scripts. I would give credit to the Intune training channel or whoever created these. Uh, but we have uh, created a fork of their GitHub repo that has the modifications that we made to it. They're not heavy modifications, just a couple uh, here and there. So the first thing that you're going to, to do is either head to the original repo to get the original files, which I have linked in the blog post, and I'll have it down in the description. Or you can go to our GitHub, which is also linked there, and get the ones that we modified. That's completely up to you, but to get started, you're going to need these uh, files to make this process work. And from these files, we'll be creating a SCCM package that we're going to use during the task sequence to call these scripts. And uh, one of them we're going to call with a parameter, but that's a modification that we made to the original files. But let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. So go ahead and grab these files and get them onto your computer so that way you can create the pack package when we're ready to do that. But before we get into creating the package or doing anything with the task sequence, in order for this to work, you have to create an app registration in your Azure portal. So that way these scripts will be able to upload that hardware hash and have the right permissions and everything. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you jump over to your portal, what you're gonna to wanna to do is on the left, to go to app registrations. And you'll see I already have some here, but we'll create a new one. And you click on new registration at the top and give it a name. It doesn't really matter what it is. And you don't need to customize anything else here unless your specific scenario calls for it. And then you'll click on register. And then once you've registered the app, it'll take you to this page. You're within the app registration now. So we need to do the API permissions for this app, and that's what's gonna allow it to uh, talk using the Microsoft Graph to upload that. So we're gonna do API permissions, add a permission. You're gonna choose Microsoft Graph, and then you'll choose application permissions. From here, you can narrow down the list by typing device. And the one that you're going to want to select is this device management service config. And you want to check the box next to the one that says read, write, all. Then we'll click on add permission. And now we need to click this grant admin consent. Click that and then we'll hit yes. Okay. And the next thing that we need to do is create a secret for this. So click on certificates and secrets. Click on new secret, secret. Give it a name. Again, doesn't matter what it is. 
you can choose whatever time frame you want this to be valid for and then click add now the important thing to note here is going to be this value uh, you're going to need this value when we edit the scripts in a moment so the script that you want to edit in that package so you're once you've downloaded it's going to look like this you have these three script files here the one that you want to worry about is script two uh, so we'll go ahead and edit that and take a look at it and that client secret the value that you have on this page you're going to want to put that into this client secret box and then for the client ID, you're going to want to go back to the app itself that you created. And here's the one we created. And you're going to have this application ID right here. That's what you're going to want to take. And you're going to put that into client ID. And then, of course, the tenant, that is going to be your Azure tenant. So if you go back... Let me get out of this and go back to the overview. That's going to be your primary domain here. It's not going to be the tenant ID like this. It's going to be the primary domain. So you're going to want to put that in there. So once you have the tenant ID and all these updated, uh, there's some modifications that we made to these files that are specific to our scenario. And one of those is the group tag. Uh, the group tag is already part of the script and uh, the group tag we use to identify different sets of uh, autopilot deployment profiles that we have. So we, with the multiple task sequences that we have, we want the group tag to be different and depending on which task sequence that it is. And in order to do that the way that the script was currently set up you would have to make multiple packages and each one would have a different group tag because the group tag was hard coded into the script so what we did is just change this uh, so that it would accept a parameter and that parameter that it accepts ends up being the group tag which then gets put into this line here where it calls get windows autopilot info and that's going to get put in here that way we only have to have one package and we can just add a parameter in each one of the task sequences or whatever group tag that we want. The other thing that was modified here was the addition of the assign flag on this command. So the assign tells this to wait until the assignment of the autopilot profile is complete in Intune. The problem that we ran into was without this, sometimes the task sequence would kick out to the out-of-box experience before the assignment had taken place in Intune, and then it wouldn't go through autopilot on its own. So to fix that, we added this assign flag, and that means it'll wait, and we didn't run into that problem anymore. So uh, the original files won't have this, and they won't have this parameter up here for the group tag. So it's up to you, whichever whichever way you want to go with it. So now that you've edited your files, you need to create a package in SCCM, which I'm not going to go over how to do that here. I imagine you already know how to do that. And if you don't, there's plenty of resources out there that'll teach you how to do it. But we've created this autopilot package and that has those script files as the source files in there. So if we open this up, we'll see that the source is just that directory. So now we get on to the task sequence. So the task sequence, open this up and edit it. You can just create your basic run of the mill task sequence. And you're gonna want to, um, in most scenarios, you're not gonna want this uh, network step. So it will disable that because we're not joining a domain in this case. And you want to add at the very end after it sets up the uh, Windows and Configuration Manager client, you're going to want to add these three scripts here. So you do that by going to Add and then General. I thought it was yeah, Run PowerShell script. So you're going to want to add three of those. And then from here, you're going to want to browse to the package that you created. And the first one you're going to call is Script 1. 
and you want to make sure you set the execution policy to bypass on this one you don't need to add any parameters or anything so on your second one you will put script 2 after adding your package up here make sure it's on bypass and then in this parameters field for our scenario where we customized a little bit we put the group tag here so as you can see if we create multiple task sequences we can just change this parameter on each one of them to be the group tag that we want and then on script 3 you uh, select your package again and then put script 3 here make sure it's on bypass and really that's all there is to it um, once you run this task sequence on a machine you know to go through the typical task sequence process and then you'll see it run in script 1, script 2, and script 3 if you use that assign uh, flag like we did it'll sit on script 2 for a little while uh, could be quite a few minutes because it's waiting for that assignment to happen back on the Intune side of things and uh, you're also going to want to make sure obviously that you have your Intune environment set up with a deployment profile again these things are out of the scope of this video I really just wanted to talk about how to get from a task sequence to having your hardware hash updated and then kicking out to the out-of-box experience for autopilot to pick up so I'm not going to go too in-depth on any of those other things if you'd like for me to make videos on them I definitely can just let me know down in the comments and uh, see what I can do about getting a video or a blog post or something like that if you want more details on this process or you just would like to read the steps you can check out the post on the credible dev blog and be linked down below in the description but uh, i think that's pretty much it for this video i hope it helped you out and thanks for watching have a great day